while I was preparing some papers about dancing, suddenly I found uh, very important information for a special type of accessory I would like to share with you. Before I start this video, I want to tell you something had happened this week. Two days ago or three days ago, a friend of mine shared a lecture from a professor in the AOC here in Egypt talking about the Egyptian culture in addition dancing to. But suddenly I found that some of her talking or her, or her explanation was very strange for me. This problem actually because we haven't a special or a clear branch in the AOC here in Egypt and also I think in Lebanon about dancing. So for this reason, the professors, when they're going to talk or to explain dancing, they explain from their windows. So they don't know exactly the meaning behind the dance steps or the meaning behind the dance in general. This is exactly uh, the most important problem, which sometimes can lead us to the weak point or to the wrong point, uh, which I feel it became now everywhere all over the world. So please, try all the time to give the branch to its place or to its people because if i'm talking about something i don't know exactly i will lose my way and i will give you wrong information this is exactly what i uh, love to share with you in the beginning also i found that uh, uh, the professor was with her or both of them, they were in the same direction, which is far from dancing. They were talking for, uh, I, I will tell you, they were talking about the stick dance. We haven't stick dance in Egypt. It is type of game. It is not type of dance. It's type of folk game, not type of dance. The dancers who allowed to dance with the stick in upper Egypt were only the Gawazi, and you can say sometimes also Gypsy, but men dancing with the stick in Upper Egypt, it's completely wrong. We haven't any type of stick dance in Upper Egypt. Belongs to men, but belongs to women, especially, especially Gawazi. This is exactly the main point. And if I wanted to connect with the ancient Egyptians time, I have to understand why the ancient Egyptians created this type of game to understand exactly if it is or it was a game or dance. So this is the most important point we have to keep in mind all the time when we're going to speak about any type of folk dancing throughout the history and what's going on with this type of dance. And also I have to understand what is behind or, to, or what is the meaning behind the dance steps to clarify this type of dance or to explain exactly this type of dance. Since long time I'm thinking seriously to create a video talking about uh, ancient Egyptian dance because I found that sometimes some points cannot be clear enough to let us understand exactly the meaning behind these types of dances if it is type of dances or type of uh, uh, religion motion or performance belongs to religion because there is a big difference between the religion movements or religion performance and dance performance. This is exactly uh, the main point which sometimes lead people also don't understand or confuse between all of these types of uh, performance. When I'm saying motion performance, exactly this term, it is Egyptian term, created uh, here in Egypt by um, uh, the physical education college especially uh, girls physical or, or ladies physical education college not uh, men they created to uh, explain exactly the meaning of this type of dance or this type of uh, step and uh, this step belongs to which type or which part uh, within the society uh, if it if it belongs to the ordinary people or the athletes or whatever something like that so this is the motion performance term motion coming from mo uh, movements uh, people move physical movements and performance of course you know of course what is the meaning of performance this is the first point uh, what we uh, found is or before what we found uh, 
as I told you, it was in my mind to explain or to create a video talking about uh, ancient Egyptians and uh, their type of motion performance, which it belongs to them or uh, uh, belongs to whom exactly and how they created like this way. This week I found uh, a doll. Uh, they call it Baddle doll. Uh, I found it in some sources and this Baddle doll belongs to ancient Egyptian time. Uh, we found it or we discovered it inside uh, tombs here in Egypt, of course but was very strange because we found it exactly in the uh, dancers' tombs, uh, which is very important to know something like this. Uh, this type of uh, bottle doll, many opinions or many researchers uh, give all their opinions about it, but no one knows exactly what that means exactly or uh, uh, why they were using for or what what they were using for and uh, was very strange. Uh, these uh, battle dolls are not in Egypt but outside in England and in some museums in England and in somewhere also in Europe. But very important to know exactly. I will give you all the opinions and then we can discuss together again how and why. This is very important. This doll or this bottle doll uh, made by wood and uh, it, it is a female doll, not male doll. And of course with uh, hair. Her hair is very strange actually. It is a strength with uh, clay of beads, which is very strange, yes, also. This doll very strange and we found it like this way. And sometimes you can find some tattoo uh, uh, over the over the body of the doll, which we found it exactly the same as the tattoo on the mummies inside the tombs, uh, these tombs actually. So this is uh, let many researchers think that it is type of uh, instruments or in a, it is type of accessory uh, the dancers use it or use using them during this time long ago. The tombs which we found it or we found them inside because we found many, not only one piece or something like that, but a lot of pieces, uh, different types of pieces as you uh, see them now with me. We found it inside or we found them inside these uh, tombs which belongs to a type of uh, religion bands which they were calling them Hebri bands, something like that. Uh, these bands uh, were belongs to Hathor, and by the way, Hathor, as you can find her name in many sources, belongs to, or she was a goddess of uh, dance and music also in this time long ago. So these Hebrew dancers or bands belongs to her, and they were dancing inside temples and sometimes uh, in some uh, death ceremonies, something like that. So, no, or we haven't any papyrus or any paper talking about this type of dolls, uh, how they were using these dolls or why they uh, do with these dolls, nothing. Just only these dolls like this way, like what you uh, saw uh, of them. One of the opinions said that this battle doll uh, where belongs to the dancers when they were to uh, taking these uh, dolls and play with it, something like that. Others said that it looks like the cymbals because this time long ago there were a special type of cymbals, uh, hand cymbals as they said, people in this time they were uh, taking these cymbals and made or making some type of rhythms as a percussions. Uh, others said that uh, it belongs to a type of uh, music. They were used it inside thimbles to change the vibration with the, with the air. Others said that it uh, was um, replacing the negative energy to the positively uh, uh, with the air or in the air by uh, the vibration, something like this. So, a lot of opinions about it like this way and no one knows exactly uh, what was using for.
if we look at it clearly, we will find immediately that uh, this uh, bottle doll looks like the voodoo doll also, which it is a strange little bit when I say something like this point. So for this reason, some of the researchers said the same. It is type of magic doll. They use it for something special for them, something like that too. I a little bit uh, be more going to this point because until now we have this doll or something like this doll we use it in our culture here in Egypt we created by the way this is my uh, tome he asking for something I don't know exactly I am here when I start to speak about magic suddenly Tom start to talk so be careful <laughs> anyway, uh, we're still using the same uh, doll like this way. Sometimes we create it by papers and we using the needles uh, to make some holes uh, inside this uh, doll, paper doll, and then we burn it and throw it onto the uh, infected bodies, something like that, infected with magic, something like this way. So we're still using the same until now, but the doll we are creating now it is without hair, like this hair, like this clay hair, or clay, sorry, strings with the clay of, uh, of uh, beads. So this is also a strange little bit to uh, know something like this exactly, uh, or to find something like this exactly from this time long ago, and no one knows exactly what is the meaning of it until now. But I think it's yes, also the same as some of the researchers that they were using for some magic what belongs to the dancers or maybe they infected, they, they, they scared if the dancers infected with some uh, magic. So for this reason, they created this doll for something like that. This is exactly what I love to share with you today. And of course, I love very much if you have any opinion or uh, any comment or also any question, please write me down. And don't forget, please, to share this video with your friends. And don't forget also to click on the like button below if you like it. And wait for me for the next video. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.